Josh's Order Corner. That's me. <laughs> this is something I've been waiting for for a while, and it's finally here. It is a very interesting shape box, but you probably already know what it is. I'm stoked. I was afraid this was also lost in the mail, but it's not. This was a special edition release that dropped not long ago from a band that I like quite a bit. Oh. No bullshit rapping. Just this is what it is. Bane, their 2001 album, Give Blood. Let me pull this over here. Let me pull this over here. 2001 album, Give Blood from Equal Vision Records. This is the Tigers, uh, Tiger Records pressing. Let's open it up. Because this is a very special edition that I'm going to figure out how to open here. And I feel like it's going to be dangerous. I hear stuff sliding around. There's our record. Here's our extras. Be great if I manage to ruin this after impatiently waiting for it for so long. Okay. That's wild. Okay. All right. So what we have here with this special edition release, it came with a copy of a set list from that era. It came with some photos. And these are actually like printed photo photos. So it's like the photo paper and everything. <laughs> Here's a rad picture of Aaron. Here he is again, rocking a Cleveland, formerly known as the Indians, shirt. Here's a nice promo photo of the band. Both Aaron's in there. I don't know all the band members. Aaron, Aaron, Stu. I bet it'll say in here. Give Blood is Aaron, Zach, Nick, Pete, and Aaron. Recorded by Brian McTurnan, a name that you most likely know. That is Brian from Battery, Brian from Be Well with the other Aaron. So it has been about six years since Bane has been a band. Well, it will be six when this is out. There isn't much to say about this band. Well, in actuality, there is way too much to say for me to even start to explain it in these two pages. I don't even think I could explain it in a 1,000 page book. When I started this band, I never had any idea what it would turn out like. I just wanted to start a band that was all about having fun. Since then, it has moved into that and so much more. This is my life. We are driving in the van to a show or driving in the middle of Ohio with nothing around us, I'm very, I am the happiest man alive. Sometimes we argue and sometimes we don't talk, but these four people are my life. I never realized that starting this band for fun would turn into the best thing that would ever happen in my life. I love my friends. I love my life. Give blood, give everything, because you never know when it will all be over. Aaron Bernard written that wrote that in 2001. So there's that. The lyric sheet. Uh, I, I do really like this band. I was introduced to them later on, which is kind of a bummer because I missed out on a lot of opportunities to really see them uh, when they were really active. They've recently got back together. They played This Is Hardcore. They played a couple other festivals. They're playing Furnace Fest. And I don't know if they'll do a small tour or not, but I'm happy that I saw them when I did. I saw them in Pittsburgh at the Smiling Moose, I think the venue was called. It was like a restaurant attic. And Turnstile was opening up for them. This pressing is... I've been able to see it a couple times. It's gorgeous. This white with that orange, kind of creamsicle look and feel to it. Very rad. And I wish Aaron would write a book. Because this is a band that was around forever. I mean, Don't Wait Up was 2014... But their first album was 1999 on Equal Visions. It all comes down to this. 
1999, 2001, 2005, 2014 is when their albums came out. Uh, and when they broke up after 2014's Don't Wait Up, everyone thought that was it. But here they are, re-releasing, rocking new, doing a bunch of shows again, and people are stoked. So here is the gatefold. Again, this came from, I want to make sure I say this correctly, Tiger Records. Yeah, just plain up Tiger Records. They did a beautiful job with the album artwork. Oh, boy. Let's see if I screw this up. How it had, like, that medical plus sign. There you go. You see that? And then when you flip it around here in the worst way possible, instead of me just taking a picture of it, there you go. All those pictures, well done. Amazing packaging. The bonuses to it were sick. I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to listen to this because I've been waiting for this to show up and I cannot wait to throw it on the turntable and give it a spin. If you love Bane, which you should, let me know your favorite tracks. It was interesting that Don't Wait Up was my introduction to them because listening back, Don't Wait Up is different but in a good way. It was supposed to be a farewell and they decided we're not done yet. So there you go. I want to know where you've seen them. I want to know your favorite songs, all that fun stuff. I want, I want Aaron to write a book. I think that'd be amazing. Till next time. Don't be a dick. <laughs>